Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to use ZK Sync. So let's start. First of all, we need to go to zksync.io website. Once we get there, over here we have a button that says open wallet, so let's click on it. And as soon as we do this, we are taken to wallet.zksync.io website. When we get here, we need to connect our wallet, so we can connect MetaMask, Wallet Connect, Formatic, Portis, or any of the wallets over here. I would suggest connecting MetaMask. That's how I'm going to do this during this tutorial. Once we click on MetaMask, window will pop up, so we need to sign in. And as soon as we do this, we should get connected to ZK Sync. And have in mind that ZK Sync is in beta at the moment. So over here, we can use ZK Sync at the moment to send our cryptocurrency to layer 2. However, have in mind that on layer 2, there are no protocols, no DeFi deployed yet. At the moment, on layer 2, you can only send crypto from one person to another person, from one address to another address. But in the future, there will be some DeFi protocols deployed. As we can see over here in ZK Sync ecosystem, there is, for example, Curve, Aave, Loopring, Balancer, One Inch, Coinbase, Huobi, Binance, and so on and so on. As you can see, those partners in the ecosystem are huge. And now let me show you how to use ZK Sync on Testnet. In order to use ZK Sync on Rinkabyte Testnet, we need to go to connect.zksync.dev. And this will take us to a testnet version of ZK Sync. Once we get there, we will have a notification that we need to swap our MetaMask to Rinkeby testnet. So in order to do that, we just click over here. And then up here, we need to change to Rinkeby. And as soon as we do this, we will be able to click on login and connect our MetaMask account. We just sign over here and we should already get connected with our wallet on ZK Sync. And over here, in order to test it on Rinkeby, we will have to get some testnet Ethereum. In order to get testnet Ethereum, we need to open our Twitter and then we need to tweet our Ethereum address where we want to get test Ethereum. So over here is my tests Ethereum address. I just hit tweet. As soon as I do this, my tweet was sent. I need to click on view. And then we need to copy the address over here to our tweet. And once we copy the address to our tweet, in the new tab, we need to go to faucet.rinkeby.io. And this is uh, Rinkeby testnet faucet. So over here in this field, we need to paste our tweet address and click on give me ether. And then we can choose for three ether for eight hours, seven and a half ethers for one day or 18 ethers for three days. So as soon as you do this, uh, you should get your testnet Ethereum within a few minutes. And once we do this, we can move to the next step to minting some test tokens. In order to mint the test tokens, once we connect the wallet, we click on deposit. Then over here, we click select token. And under the token, we can mint some test tokens. So for example, if I would like to mint USDT, I would click over here. And right now, minting process begins. We have to confirm it in MetaMask. Once we confirm it in MetaMask, after a few seconds, our tokens should be already minted. And as you can see, my transaction was confirmed. And over here, over here, we have our USDT minted. And as you can see over here, we can scroll down and mint any of the available test cryptocurrencies over here. For example, KNC, Monaco, BAT, 0x, and so on and so on. Let me maybe also mint uh, link just for the testing purposes so i clicked on link we wait for the metamask window to appear we click confirm and then within the next uh, 30 maybe 60 seconds our token should be minted and as you can see it's already minted link is already added over here so once we mint the test tokens we can deposit our tokens to layer 2 in order to do that we hit on deposit and then over here we can select the token so let's say I want to send link to layer 2, so I would click on link. Over here we type how many link we want to send. We can click here for max, or we can choose any other balance, let's say 77. Once we do this, we need to unlock our link token. In order to do that, we click here. 
MetaMask window pops up and we'll have to confirm. We click confirm. And as soon as we do this, our transaction is in progress and soon our tokens should be unlocked. And once they are unlocked, we will be able to deposit them to layer two. So as you can see, transaction is confirmed. Our link tokens are unlocked. As we can see here, we can click on deposit. Right now we are depositing 77 link to layer two. MetaMask window pops up, we confirm it. And once again, we need to wait for uh, some time before the tokens will be deposited. It usually takes just uh, around 30 to 60 seconds for our tokens to be deposited to layer two. And as you can see, it's already initiated. It's already being deposited. So if we click back, we should already see that uh, our link tokens are being deposited to layer two when there will be two check marks, as you can see over here. That means that our tokens were already deposited. So like I mentioned before, on layer 2 right now we cannot do much, we can only send uh, our crypto from one wallet to another wallet and we can also test uh, Curve Finance because they also have a test version on layer 2. So maybe let's start with sending the tokens. In order to do that we just click on the token we want to send or we click on this transfer button over here. Once we click on transfer we can choose which token we want to transfer, so let's say I want to transfer link. And let's say I want to transfer 44 link. Down here we need to type in to which address we're trying to transfer. So I'm just gonna paste uh, my other test address and then we hit transfer. Once we do this, we should see what is the fee over here and also the fee will be visible in MetaMask. And as you can see, we pay the fee in the cryptocurrency that we are sending, not like in Ethereum network. On layer 1 where we pay the fees in Ethereum. On layer 2 of ZK Sync we pay the fees, the gas fees, in the currency that we are sending. So if you send the link you will pay fee in link. If you send USDT you will pay fee in USDT and so on and so on. So you don't really have to have Ethereum on layer 2 because you can pay the fee in the currency that you are sending. So once this shows up we click sign and as you can see the transfer was complete and our transactions is already being initiated and the recipient should get it within the few seconds or few minutes. We can also click over here to link to the transaction and then we can see on the ZK scan on Rinkabai if our transaction is already initiated or is it maybe already completed. So as you can see it uh, says status initiated so it's still in progress and like I mentioned it should take few minutes, usually less for the transaction to be completed. And also important note, if you want to test ZK Sync on CurveFi, they also have a test version over here. So all you need to do is go to zksync.curve.fi. At the moment they are performing some changes on the website. So at the moment the website is down, but I believe it should be up within the next few hours. And that would be it for today. Please let me know in the comments if you managed to test ZK Sync and remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.